Welcome everyone to Mommy Jen's Kitchen. Let's make or bake a rainbow cake with ube, strawberry, vanilla, and pandan flavor. Here's what we needed. Four cups of flour. One teaspoon baking soda. One tablespoon baking powder. 1 4 teaspoon salt 1 cup shortening any oil spray 8 8 whites 1 tablespoon vanilla extract and assorted colors I use this gel coloring or you can use any food coloring and also the strawberry, pandan, and ube flavoring. Two and one half cups of the white sugar. Two and two third cups of buttermilk. Please watch my other video for buttermilk. Now what we have to do is beat the shortening in the medium high. We have to do it like 30 seconds. Then we're going to add the sugar slowly and the vanilla until they are uh, completely combined. Now we're going to add the vanilla. Uh, let's check if they are completely combined now or not yet. Maybe we need to mix a little bit more. Now we're gonna need to mix it again in the same speed. Medium high for 30 seconds. And then, yeah, we're gonna add the egg whites. We have to do it one at a time. Yeah, we need to beat it. Um, we have uh, to beat it well after each addition of the egg whites. Yeah, yeah, most of the time, I usually uh, separate the egg yolks from the egg whites using a tool bowl. I don't just crack it open and then just using its shell itself then because some other people do that they just crack it open then pour the egg yolk straight to the uh, butter that they're doing don't do that because um, if the shell will go inside uh, that will be like a pain pain to find where's the shells and it's not good because some people might eat that shell Now we just need to keep uh, um, mixing it until they are completely combined. Yeah, then the next step, uh, we're going to add together the dry ingredients, but with the use of the colander or the strainer, we're going to sift the flour in here together with the other dry ingredients. We're going to add the baking powder, then the baking soda, 
and also the salt together. And then by the use of uh, a spatula, let's just keep mixing it so it will uh, sift. So all the dry ingredients will be sifting. Well, this process is kind of like messy. If you can see that the flour goes uh, out from the uh, the bowl itself. Uh, the process of this, uh, we use the colander or strainer so we can separate and break up clumps in the dry ingredients. Then after this, we need uh, we just need to mix it a little bit or fold it because folding uh, it is a way that we can mix all the ingredients or combine the ingredients together and not that uh, this process I usually do this I mix it a little bit before I uh, use the uh, mix uh, the mixer again because if the ingredients is too dry it will be go all over the place or you can always uh, get a, a small uh, hand towel and then cover your mixer so it will not go all over the place and yeah, we're just gonna mix it on low. Low first. Now we have to uh, add uh, the buttermilk that we made. We needed like two and one third cups of buttermilk. I got an, another video of how to make a buttermilk. This is really easy and you guys don't need to go to the store to buy it. Before, yeah, when I don't do my channel yet, when I bake, I usually go to the store because I'm kind of lazy how to make a buttermilk. But now I said, well, I think I better, better just to make my own buttermilk because it's easy. It's easy and it's cheaper. So you can make your own. So don't forget to watch my other video for how, how to make your own buttermilk, homemade buttermilk for you. And we just need to mix it until we reach this kind of consistency. Now the butter is all looks good. Now I have like a small bowl in here. I will be ready for our butter. You have to divide it equally. Uh, first, we're gonna use a nine and uh, and a half inch baking pan for our first layer of the cake. So I got like uh, one cup in here, but I put like I have to put two cups uh, in each bowl. But if you can uh, notice that the last one it's not like two cups so i have to get some from the other bowl so it will be all even it's all up to you how much thick is the cake that you want in each flavor
baking is a like a, a long process but you know the outcomes is really overwhelming it's just if you make your own it's just like wow i did not i can't believe that i make it all right and then now we're gonna uh, use a different kinds of food coloring but you can use a gel food coloring or just uh you know the uh instant or uh, what do you call that just a food coloring yeah the gel food coloring i like it better when when i'm using it for fondant making a fondant because the fondant doesn't like too much of the watery thing or watery um flavoring and now I'm adding the ubi flavoring to my purple coloring, my purple food coloring in the butter. There, my butter is uh, turning purple now. That's my ubi. Ubi fur, that will be my first layer in my cake. That will be ubi flavor. Next will be my strawberry one, or pink one. I'm gonna add uh, um, more color of this. It depends on you guys how much color do you want it. And that's a uh, uh, strawberry flavor. You just add one teaspoon of the strawberry extract in there. And then you, you do the same thing to the rest. And this is the first batch. The first batch of how we can make the cake butter with the different flavors. And we're going to use a 9.5 inch of baking pan. And then the next one, this will be the first batch. And then you have to make the same, um, same ingredient, same procedure of making a butter for the next batch for the second layer of the cake so now i'm putting um one teaspoon full of uh, pandan flavor actually the yellow one the yellow my yellow one and my blue one is just a vanilla flavor but um i my, i do have a banana flavor but it's all gone so i just uh, leave it the way it is as vanilla flavor but you can also use a banana flavor so that will be taste banana flavor is really 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 good too if you can find any banana flavor i don't know if we do have it in walmart but you can always go to asian store to get some banana flavor the strawberry flavor i got it to walmart the ube i got it at the asian store the rest asian store and now this is the uh, nine and a half inch pan that we're gonna use you have to spray it first of the oil spray yeah use the oil spray and then you have to um yeah put it on the side also so it will not stick then you have to cut the wax paper you can use a wax paper or parchment paper any of the two then you spray again This is the first batch of our cake. So everything is in a nine and a half inch pan. And then after this, you guys have to make another set, another another batch of uh of the cake butter for the small pan. I decided to make a voiceover with my um, video for this cake because it's kind of confusing especially to the beginners so um, I better to explain explain it uh, clearly so you guys will understand so in the first butter that we made that is only for the first batch for this nine and a half baking pan and then you have to make another one for the second one for the six and a half inch pan okay
now the oven is preheated yeah we're gonna uh, put it by batch Yeah, I only bake two at the time because I only got two pieces of the nine and a half inch of the nine and a half inch pan, so I have to do it this way. Now it's only it only took me like uh, almost like ten minutes. You have to make sure you check it if there is nothing sticking on the stick or the toothpick so they are good so i bake it in 350 degree for um, almost 10 minutes or 10 minutes and then i'll do the same thing with the second batch yeah we have to carefully remove the cake from the bottom of the, um, the pan but uh, if you're gonna transfer it in this plate in the white plate I forgot to show it to you and I'm having a hard time you know removing it when I place it in the plate so in here you have to spray Oop, before you do that you have to spray oil spray to that plate before you place that so it will not be hard for you to remove the cake from the plate when you're putting it together yeah I'll, I'll show it to you later you're gonna see you're gonna see my um uh the thing that i'm telling you over here that i'm having a hard time and i forgot to spray it i should i should spray the plate so it will not stick yeah yeah, you have to spray on that uh, plate before you flip it over. Or you can always like uh, ask help to somebody to cut another parchment paper, same size, then put it on the plate. So when you place those on the plate you, there is like a parchment paper so it will be easier for you to um take it out later on and in here we're doing the same process again by butch there's my ube flavor cake there's my pandan oh i love those flavor and that's the time and, and this one what you're saying here is the six and a half inch pan and for sure your butter is not enough so you have to make another set another set same procedure to make the second layer of the butter this uh tiny or six and a half inch pan or the cake that i'm going to bake will be for the second layer yeah we always need to grease the parchment paper at the bottom Just spread it, spread it, and then make it even. <laughs> and don't forget, top, top, top. And then another top, top, top. <laughs> Actually, this cake that I'm making right now is for my daughter's 14th birthday, Maya, my lovely daughter and uh, you can always uh, check her youtube channel and it, um, the name is maya apc yeah then after after uh putting all of this uh, butter in here 
uh, we're gonna do the same process we're just gonna put it in the oven for 350 degree Fahrenheit for 10 minutes or uh, make sure after like eight minutes check it if it is good enough or not and then just use a toothpick after this procedure all we have to do is place in the oven and then we're gonna jump to the next um, procedure I love this ubi flavor okay now we're in the next procedure so everything are all baked everything are ready so we have the turnaround stand we have the rubber mat and the cake board uh, this is a uh, uh, you can use buttercream but you know I use a cream cheese in here and you can check out my other video how to make the frosting you can check out buttercream or you can check out the cream cheese frosting okay this is what I'm telling you guys that you know I forgot to spray the plate with a uh, oil spray so before you put this you put you know, before you put the cake on the plate you have to spray it spray it with the oil spray so it will not stick now if you, you can see in my video I'm having a hard time and there's like a some uh, some chunks in there that left on the plate so make sure you spray it and then you just put it slowly and carefully all right now we're gonna do to the second step you just fill that uh, cake top with the uh, frosting and then we're gonna keep putting or placing the second layer the third layer for it and the top one Oh, that yellow is a vanilla flavor, but you can put banana flavoring if you want to. Just be very careful when you're lifting it up. You can, you guys can all see my mistake. Well, nobody's perfect. Even a good chef, they're not perfect. They always make mistakes too. But you know, all those mistakes, you can always cover it up because that will be covered with the frosting. I like cream cheese frosting because it's not too sweet. Then that's my pandan flavor cake. My strawberry cake. My fourth layered cake. Oh, this is my pandan one okay the the that's the pandan one I thought that was my pandan flavor because they're kind of like colored both colored green and lastly this is my ubi flavored cake oh I love ubi cake well um, as soon as I'm not uh, busy I'm gonna make some ubi cake for you guys it's just hard to you know to make a video 
make it making a video while you're you know you have to go to work too and then here all you have to do is, is uh, spread out all the frosting the side and the top make it even and then after uh, after they are all smooth and even we're gonna put it inside of the fridge and let it sit for two hours two or more now we're gonna make um, the second layer which is the small uh, the small cake or the six inches cake we'll do the same process to use the turnaround stand the rubber mat so that the cake will not will uh, sit still on the top of the cake board I know you guys can make this too it's easy there's just a lot of process and beside if you're gonna make it for one for your uh, one of your lab ones it will be fine it will take a while but it will be fine it's really worth it cake nowadays are expensive especially if you're gonna make like a special cake if you're gonna order some special cake it will be expensive Just be very careful putting them together. There, as soon as we're done with this, we're gonna um, fill it with the cream cheese frosting on the top, make it even, sm smoothen it at uh, the side also and then after that we're gonna place it in the fridge for two hours or more and while it's uh in the freezer oh not in the freezer we're, we're not gonna freeze it i'm sorry we're gonna put it in the refrigerator we're gonna put it in the fridge so this this one is in the fridge yep we put it at least two hours yeah and uh i made another second coat after i put the first coat then i made the second coat then place it back in the uh fridge again or in the refrigerator and while it's in the fridge i'm gonna show you how to make a fondant but if you can uh well actually this is a made fondant already and you can check my uh other uh, youtube video how to make a fondant and this time this white fondant that i made uh, you can go to the store and buy some flavoring if you want some flavored and i'm putting some of uh, watermelon flavored for my pundit just don't forget to check my other other youtube uh, video how to make fondant making fondant uh it's 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 really fun also it's really fun and it it will exercise your hands real good because <laughs> all you have to do is keep rolling it keep rolling it keep rolling it and massage it that's what you're gonna do to fun to the to the fondant to make the taste even and to make the colored even so don't forget to check it out and now that uh, you can see it's getting uh, smooth the fondant is smooth so we can uh, shape it now to the size of the cake that that we're making just make sure you got you check the size of the cake and then size the fondant equally to the size or the 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 height and the width of your uh, cake the measurement of your cake make sure that there is no like uh, lumps in there make sure they are all like uh, smooth yeah looks like smooth now huh okay just be careful if you're gonna place it then just put it on the top of the rolling pin and you get your cake then place it on the top 
always make sure you get the helper because it's uh, sometimes it's really hard hard to make a cake if you're by yourself especially if you're ma placing the fondant to the cake okay make sure you put it slowly and carefully so you will not break you will not destroy, destroy the cake <laughs> there you go there and then uh, after that all you have to do is pull down the, the fondant shape it then we're gonna cut the edge just make sure when you're doing this your um, um, your environment is not that hot because it might uh, the frosting might melt quick there we need to cut off the excess fondant and those excess fondant you can uh, use that for the next cake or in the future you can keep it all you have to do is make sure you sealed it I usually put it in the um, in the uh, clear wrap in the plastic wrap and then I can use it in the future now just keep cutting off the edge well some people you know when they uh, save their fondant after like a week because of course air because of the air it will it will harden the fondant itself so what you guys have to do to make it softer softer and you can use it uh, for this another time if you're ready to use it all you have to do is just rub it rub it to your hands because our hands is uh, warm and then you can put a little bit of uh, shortening or spray oil to your hands so it will be easier for you to make it soften there what I'm doing over here I, I, I'm just uh, making sure that there's the excess fondant will be underneath of the cake trying to hide it but you know you cannot do everything up I'm tidying up the edge so it will be looks cleaner but you know don't worry we can always hide that because we're still gonna put some of the fondant there uh, now what I'm using is a smoother uh, spatula when you're doing this it seems like you're just uh, you're um, ironing or you're doing like if you're like doing a cement <laughs> sure there will make it smooth smooth and uh, even then we're gonna do the same same thing also to the um, six inches uh, fondant cake
now looks like it's all smooth we're gonna do on the second one this is all done for now okay this will be for the second uh, fondant cake the six inches I'm adding it a little bit of flavor of the water flavoring watermelon flavoring I'm sorry make sure all the flavoring are all combined so keep massaging it we're gonna keep kneading the fondant and then if you guys want the little lighter color you can add the uh, white fondant so it will be um, it will be like lighter it will gonna be like pink or lighter pink color yeah, you just need the strong hands in here strong hands strong arms you know to keep kneading and kneading and kneading Well, I think for me that's good enough. The color is good enough. I don't want to add more of the white fondant. I think that's all good. And uh, uh, this one, you need to seal it with a clear wrap so it will not get exposed to the air because air make it ha uh, hard and quick. Put it in the side and let's do this one. And then when it's all started to get smooth, then we can uh, we can um, flatten it now, shape it with the size of our six inches round uh, fondant cake. You can always use your hands. I mean, without gloves on, but make sure your hands is clean. Now it looks good, we can uh, put it on the top of the um, small cake. Oops, I mess up a little bit over here. You can see it. But that's not a problem. It will still cover it. And just pull the fondant down again. Shape it round shaped. Shape with a cake. And then trim it.
now we're gonna smooth it again using with the smoother spatula smooth the top, smooth the side This is fun, huh? If you think it's boring, no, it's not boring. If you're the one doing it, it's fun. See, it seems like I'm doing ironing clothes. Now it looks good. We're gonna get the first layered cake. All right, and then we're gonna put the top cake, but you know, make sure that it will be in the right spot. It will be in the middle. Put the little um, mark in there so you know where you're gonna place it. There you have to do it very carefully. Yeah, we'll put it in the side and then while we're uh, while it's in the side we're gonna make another fondant and this fondant will be the ribbon so I'm placing I'm using the gel food coloring you need to use the gel food coloring not just the ordinary food coloring because two the this one is concentrated and more stickier because once the fondant got more of the food coloring it will change the consistency and it will turn hard so you want to make the fondant consistency very elastic so it will be easier for you to uh, to mold it you can add more it depends on uh, how uh, what's the color you want See, this is what I'm telling you. It's fun to do it. You can even paint. <laughs> Jen for Mommy Jen's Kitchen. Maybe if you got kids, you can make your kids do this. Paint, paint on the, paint on that fondant cake. Now it all looks good. So yeah, what we need is flat in it. I flatten, flatten it a little thinner than the first fondant then you should have th those are like um, the one that I'm using they are the cookie cutter 
and the piping tip. Or you can use any uh, tiny piece of a cutter. Now we're going to use the fondant ribbon cutter. You can get this at Hobby Lobby or you can order it online. If you don't have this, uh, you can always um, make a ribbon by using, you, make sure you have a ruler so it will be a line, I mean a straight line. And then place the ruler and then use a sharp knife. There you go, you're gonna have a straight ribbon. You cannot get this design because this one's gonna have like a design at the edge, but you know, if you wanna make a ribbon, you can use the ruler and the sharp knife. This kind of fondant ribbon cutter has its uh, different uh, serrated tooth and different shape that you can adjust whatever size of the ribbon that you would like. We just need to do this a little bit faster so because you know uh, the more the fondant exposed to the air it will harden uh quick so we better like uh double time to do this And here I'm um, changing the uh, cutter to a different size. It's a little bit bigger than the first one. For this uh, second fondant, it's um, it's a darker color pink. We're gonna do the same design also. And we we all we have to do is just pull it and then remove the excess fondant at the edge. And this is a perf uh, white fondant. Uh, placing some of the gel food coloring we're gonna use this for uh, some uh, ribbon also and also for molding a number a number 14 we'll make uh, some more decoration flowers round and the ribbon Then after this, this molder is a number number molder. Uh, we can use that for the fondant. We can use that for the candy melt, for the chocolate melt. All you have to do is like mold it in, uh, in, in that molder and then put it in the fridge for like maybe 30 minutes. And it will be hardened inside of the fridge and you can just pop it and the numbers will be, will be there. It's all formed. 
process is what we're doing is melting the candy or the candy melt so we put it in the boiling water but uh, make sure you boiled the water first in the pan and then get a sterile container dried sterile container that is um, non-breakable on, on the heat and then place that candy melt and let it melt in the uh, in the low uh, low heat until it turns to like a consistency like this and then now we can transfer it in the molder and um, make like a lollipop candy or lollipop uh, like chocolate after all molding this in the molder uh, all we have to do is um, let it sit in the fridge for 30 minutes and then it will all form us like a star lollipop You can get this in the Hobby Lobby or you always order it online. I'm not so sure if uh, they have this kind in um, Walmart. Here's the number one that we uh, just uh, put in the molar a while ago and we're using a toothpick to uh, let it uh, stand on the fondant cake. It's kind of hard because it just came out from the fridge. Now we have to use a water as a glue. There's always like edible glue that you can buy on the store, but you can you can always use a water because um, if you use water, it will that's just like a, a glue. Also, the fondant will stick to each other. So I'm just using water and just placing all those flowers decoration. See, sometimes, you know, if you're making a cake, it's not that perfect. But if you put the decoration, it will cover it with the decoration. You have that pink ribbon in there. And then after that, if you put all the striped ribbon, the decorated ribbon, you're going to put a border on the bottom part. So all those that are not, doesn't look perfect, it will be covered. So don't worry about that. Nobody's perfect. Now seems like we're almost done. Okay, now I do have here the lollipop candy melt. And we're just gonna uh, put it on the top as a decoration. Yeah, there is like a name my, uh, you can always uh, buy a molder, letter molder for the names. There you go. Hope you like my uh, rainbow fondant cake with uh, uve, strawberry, vanilla, and uh, pandan flavor. That's how it looks like. Hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe.